Greetings and welcome! I still exist. I am back. Uh, we are going to be trying something a little bit different today. Uh, I am going... I'm going to be joined with, uh, by Cyber and, uh, Sweet Tea. And we're going to be trying to, uh, I think the plan is... Attempt to stat out, like, characters in movies, video games, pop culture, basically, um, as Pathfinder, Pathfinder 2, uh, 2E, uh, characters, and see if we can make it work, uh, getting them into the system. Uh, bear with me one moment, let me get my screen up properly. I found it. There we I go. All right. I figured it out. <laughs> what were you trying to figure out? How to get that on screen. I was I was oh, trying to your stats. Okay. Yeah, I was I was digging through the um like the game. Alright, so Cyber, did you have a list of people that you wanted to discuss too? Uh I have like a grand total of like two or three characters. Uh can you put them in the text chat of the VC? I suppose I could do that. That way we can add them to the digital hat. We have a digital oh, hat. Digital hat? What? Oh, I'm gonna try to figure it out. Come on. Y'all give me a second, let me get all this match. Somebody's gotta figure out something. Oh, there's just like RNG. Well, we do know first and foremost we're probably gonna rock. Um, uh, okay, stand out, stand out the one who got this whole uh, whole system running. So tell everybody who it is. Is this lovely fellow right here? <laughs> the one, the only crunk. So yeah, uh, I'm story behind this. I was um, whoops. Uh, I'm playing a uh, a Pathfinder uh, Living World game, and uh, I basically had had an initial concept of running Brook from One Piece. And it's just changing up the uh, the background and characterization of them. But uh, I thought, what would it be? Uh, what would it be like to actually stat out properly, uh, like a different character, like Crunk, for example? Because he uh, he run he run he is the textbook example of the himbo, which means he's got to have the uh, the three big. Uh, things. He's got to be strong, he's got to be kind, and he's got to be dumb. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. But, uh... Wait, what'd you say, Cyber? I said you're not wrong. Yeah, fair. <laughs> uh... It'd be nice to get Um... Uh, so the, um... The major things that I really know about him, other than, you know, he is really strong, is he can talk to squirrels. Mm -hmm. So, with with that, I would at least put him a little bit as a druid, I would think. Because that's the only only uh, group I know that readily gets speak with animal or Is speak with like, vermin a spell? Is what speak now? with what? Speak with vermin. I don't know, because it's more than just squirrels. I think there are also, like, uh, bunnies and other animals. Yeah, I mean, Yzma was a bunny. Well, I mean, yeah, but that was the, uh, the, I know, the, I'm the, just the, joking. the, the human hybrid wow. thing. You know it was funny. Also, um, 
Chat, raise raise your hand if you don't know who we're talking about. I I should hope that everybody here knows who Kronk is from the. You do realize group. that not everybody is your age, right? I don't care. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, that age should not matter. Uh, the Emperor's New Groove is a timeless classic. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, but like, I just figured I'd throw that out there, like, just in case anybody didn't know who we were talking about. I would be disappointed in anybody that does not know who we're talking about. I mean, I wouldn't be, because like, movies, you know, aren't everybody's thing. Like, here's the thing, though, is, like, there's... There's people who might not have seen it in a long time, but yeah. don't still know what we're talking about. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I guess. Uh, so I'm thinking to probably give him a uh, like a cook background. Absolutely. Do we think he would? Um, do we would think we would need to multi-class him though, or would would he be good as just a straight druid? Um, you know what? He might actually have to be multi-classed with uh, probably like a barbarian or something, because that 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 man is that man is big. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it could it could be like you know barbarian or possibly. Um, what is ranger? Can somebody explain ranger? Uh, ranger is the um, it's like the 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 hunter character, like the 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 wood the. Yeah. Uh, so if you were to think the huntsman from uh, Snow White, White and Seven Dwarves. Uh, yeah, usually um, usually with an animal companion. Yeah. Ish. Mm-hmm. So, so like a hunter from uh, World of Warcraft. Yeah. Okay. Kush uh, says ranger because he can talk to squirrels. Ranger mm. uh, ra ra can ranger get? Uh... Uh, and technically, he was a ranger in the end of the movie. He was the troop leader. Just for the record. Okay, you know what? That's a different <laughs> kind of ranger altogether. <laughs> I know, but I'm just saying it's kind of there. He was a squirrel scout ranger. <laughs> yes, he was. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think the... Uh, well, no, rangers do get some... Uh, some spells, don't... Or, oh, that may have been... Uh, that may have been first ed. I don't... I haven't looked at them in a... In second ed. Let me see. Oh, thank God, this is over. What now? Huh? Oh, your match. I was still sitting in this match, and I've been waiting to find one. I'm just glad that it's over, because the other one could try to get hatched. Actually, you know what? Kush and Katani might actually be right. Put him as a as uh, a ranger. To put him as a as a ranger, yeah. Does ranger? Uh, what would it be? Ranger druid or just ranger? I'm just uh, looking at the uh, at the base stuff. Is that your key abilities? Wait, Wait if Push is versed in this stuff, maybe he should be here. Just saying. Sounds like he's got he's got you know hot takes. Maybe. And then I can still Katani and we can go play DVD. <laughs> and Kiki. If she's. Uh,
I missed it. What? Uh, no, we were saying that you might be right, that he may be better suited as a ranger, like a strength-based ranger. I, 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 I could see him as the, the ranger as a primary class, but I, I do still think we do need to give him at least a little bit of druid, if nothing, even just like one level, because I think there was a, uh, a 2E, there was a... Uh, voice of uh, animal empathy, mm, okay. which allows you to use diplomacy skill with animals. Which I mean, yeah, no, that's fair. He he did talk his way into uh, getting info out of a squirrel, mm -hmm. and so primary ranger with multi class one uh, druid. Bless you. Pick up, but thank you. Yeah, I don't. I don't see a uh, a talk to spell at that uh, that early, but I did find a foraging friends, which would actually kind of fit in the same vein. Hmm. That's fair. But does him being a good cook translate anywhere? Uh, that I uh, put that as his background. It gives a. Yeah. Uh, uh, the boost to survival and uh, gives you the cooking uh, lore skill, and you gained the season skill feat. Okay. Yeah, and thank you for the dicks. Damn. Uh, you get. You also get uh, the boost to constitution, um, and then one free ability. Uh, boost hmm. and obviously for Kronk his dump stat is probably intelligence yeah uh, yeah JD was saying wisdom over intellect yeah he he, he he would I would say he does get some wisdom because he is uh, able to perceive some stuff better than oh, some yeah. almost to, almost to the point of breaking the fourth wall <laughs> yeah but uh as as wise as he can be, um, he kind of dumb. Yeah. <laughs> See, like everybody says he's dumb. I don't think he's dumb. He. he I think dumb. he's naive. I don't think he's dumb. So you're making the case for intelligence and less wisdom. I'm just saying, like, don't call him dumb. He dumb. He he's slow. He's not. He is though. No, he's trusting of bad to... people. Huh? He's trusting of bad people. And I would also give him a, a good bump into uh, charisma. Yeah, that's fair. I went primarily strength with little bumps into uh, dex, a little bit higher into constitution, because that man is like, peak physical condition well yeah that's why she chose him that was the new model Isma i don't know if his name's actually crunk relatable, though. what now oh isma is scary relatable yeah no i get that <laughs> been working there forever knows how things are run um and it's given to a uh um grateful uh yeah greatless 
Oh God, mm. ungrateful, ungrateful little brat. Yeah. 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 I mean, because think about it, at the beginning of the movie, Cusco is an ungrateful little brat. Right, so, and even yeah. though she's an evil person and she was saying no to a lot of things, I mean, in theory, they are the greater good. Yeah. I feel like she's somewhat, you know, I, yeah, she's evil, I, but not chaotic evil. Lawful evil is still evil. Oh, I know. Hi, Tango. Uh, I am okay. How are you? Are, are, are we trying to put Krunk into the into the evil category, or was that? No, uh... no, no. We're talking about Isma. No, no, no. Oh, Isma. Yeah, we, no. we were talking about Isma. Uh, I would, I would, I would kind of put her uh, if we, if you had to do that, almost closer to neutral evil, just because it's 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 more about her getting power and she's willing to you know break the law to do to do that i mean that's fair i mean but is that law just doesn't matter it's the law i feel like it, it, it's it's pushing the line in the middle yeah that's 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 kind of where the uh the the, the lawful to neutral kind of kind of thing goes yeah is like the... It's like the law may be um, stupid, but it is the law. Yeah, but also she wanted to be in the position of lawmaker. So yeah. yeah. So yeah, kind of. I, I I could I could easily see the argument for borderline. Um, what do we want to put for uh, Crunk's uh skills? Um... Since we've only got him at basically level two. Uh. Like what? What are skills like comprised of? Like what are you looking for? Well, we've got the basically it's like the acrobatics, uh, basically what you're trained, what you have training in. Uh, okay, so other than the lore cooking and the nature that comes from uh, the the background in class, yeah, um, um, I, I I went ahead and added athletics just because. Yeah, yeah. I think <laughs> athletics and acrobatics are pretty good. Um, definitely not deception. No. Uh, uh, probably crafting, uh, because cooking is considered crafting. Yeah, I think that would, uh, probably fall into, into get that category. Probably, possibly, I could argue, I could see argued diplomacy. Because he does try to, you know, reason with Yzma and... Well... You know what? I I would I'd probably give you diplomacy because other than um, other than with Isma, mm -hmm. like he is. Oh, Katani even just said it. He's great with people. Yeah. Um. Yeah. With other people, animals, and things like that, he can you know maneuver his way around conversation. Yeah. Ish. Uh. And that we have uh. One last spot. Uh, available. Uh, Arcana is pretty well out. Uh, Deception and... Yeah, that man cannot lie. No. Uh, mm -mm. Uh, occultism Well, I mean, out. he's too busy talking to the angel and devil on his shoulders to even try. Yeah. <laughs> uh, religion's probably out. Society? Eh? Maybe? Um, he was humming his own theme song when he was trying to bring uh, Cusco out of the castle. <laughs> so you're you're making a an argument I'm making for an argument to be that. Well, I'm making an argument against stealth and thievery. <laughs> That's fair. possibly performance. Uh, I mean, I could see that. I, I, Do we I, already I could... have society? No, we don't. Uh, don't have society. I think we put that in uh, in persuasion. Mm. Or diplomacy. Diplomacy, yeah. Yeah, I, I can either see, like, medicine, uh, society, or performance being the last one. I'd, I'd probably go performance. Performance? Yeah. I can see that. Right. Um... 
just run down the list. Uh, versatility and ambition. So we can we can um, kind of select a uh, an a heritage uh, for him. Uh, I think Ayuvian uh, is elvish, and that's orcish. Which, well, other than the green oh, tan, for, for for that I just went with versatile human. Versatile. <laughs> Uh, what did I pick on this end? Uh, I would probably say pet. A uh, tiny animal of your choice, cat, bird, or rodent. Yeah, so that would yeah that would fall uh, kind of into the. Yep. <laughs> the squirrel. Y'all got me over here just like reading uh, Kronk's history. <laughs> yeah, I, I I only really know Kronk from the uh, the first movie. I haven't seen the mm -hmm. the the spinoffs with them. Yeah, I've I've seen the second movie. Um, and it's a chipmunk scout, not not squirrel scout. Whatever, squirrel I, chipmunks is. But he, the only oh, difference no, is the he tail. was part of the chipmunk scout. Okay. He becomes like he makes the squirrel like. It's fine. I think it's cool. They're 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 small little rodents that like nuts. I would I would uh, for a. For I'm waiting a, for a D's nuts joke. For a for a feed, I would definitely give them cooperative nature. Oh, absolutely. Yep. Bug on face. What? I had a bug on the face. Uh, also, if a cat comes up to your your desk, please show cat. Okay. And that goes for both of you. I think they're Casually both. Casually looks around for cat. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're both hiding at the moment. Well, he's passed out behind me. So. Aww. I'm going to check this out real quick. Initiate Warden. Sorry for the hiccup. Hold up. He should have Peel Companion. Hmm? He should definitely have Peel Companion. I'm just saying. That's just me. I mean, it, it kind of fits with the personality. It's, uh, I don't yeah, think it's anything that... Yeah, you absolutely... Uh... Can, can you not see him as a child taking an animal, bringing it into the home, and nursing it back to health? Just saying. Absolutely. I also so, yeah. put my two characters in the uh, in the chat here. In the chat. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Well, if if hey, we'll I we'll 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 put a number by them and then roll a roll oh, a d twenty. Yeah. We'll do it. We'll do it the proper That's way. Hey, there we go. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, with the uh, uh, druidic order, I would definitely put him in the room. Yeah. But yeah, that's 
Honestly, I kind of I kind of thought it would take a little bit more to uh, to stab no. Crunk out, but it seems like you could just you could get a a good baseline for him in uh in two levels. Mm -hmm. So you're at level two. Yeah, uh, you can only pick uh one level, um, or one class, mm -hmm. uh, per level up. So in order to do a multi class, you the second you class you could take it at at least level two. Thanks, Ryan. So uh, give me a second. I'm I'm working on it. Don't oh, don't worry about it. You got it. All right. Yeah, just give me a minute. I have an RNG on Google. Yes, I know it's never truly random. <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to make sure nobody else said it. Uh, I'm numbering them out. Like I'm actually writing the numbers out just so we have it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, because we have 17 of them. And save that one. Yeah, you should absolutely save them so that way if you guys decide to do a campaign with those later. <laughs> yeah, we can. You uh... can. <laughs> Come on, tell me that wouldn't be fun. Yeah, no, I uh, I mentioned it while, uh, while All we right, were... Alright, five. Uh, five is Boo. Bajin Boo. What? Bajin Boo. Uh, it says B U U. Yeah. Uh, okay. That was the one I sent you, right? That that's uh, Dragon Ball Z. Yep. Uh, so I 